to the Upgrid family. Today I'm finally getting back on with the audio, uh, bed audio system part three. I'm so sorry it's been such a long time, but after doing all the charity stuff, we got bogged down in so many other things, so I just had to do what was not easiest to do, but what I, what was closest to finishing, or, you know, videos I'd already started, etc. But today, hopefully, we'll get a lot more of it done, if not finished. Right, I'm going to start off by making uh, a better button array. The one I've made is disgusting, so I'm going to laser cut something for the blue buttons that I showed you in the last episode. Um, and I'm going to have that in a nice little like button array. I've also made an enclosure for the PCB, the bit with all the like the, the brains and the Bluetooth and so on. Um, so I'm going to make I'm going to show you all that now, and hopefully fit it all together the first time without any problems. Let's get on. So this is my little button array, and as you'll notice, the play button is slightly further away from everything else, so it means I can feel in the night which one the play button is, because they're all the same, obviously the same buttons. Um, but I'm going to wire these up now. Right, I was going to start off by um, wiring up the buttons, but I laser cut all these and designed these, um, but I have not put them together yet, so I don't know if they work. And I was just going to start doing the buttons, and I was like, I really need to know if these actually go together. So this is the buttons and everything, and then this is going to be the little electronics box. I have literally, I did all the measurements I could, but that doesn't mean it was it's come out properly. And also there's another uh, issue now that won't be my fault, but um, I had a problem with the laser sticking as it was going along the gantry. So some of the things don't line up. For example, I noticed this a minute ago, these holes aren't exactly in the same places on the piece of wood. Can you see how close that one is to the top? Whereas that one is slightly further away. So there's going to be minor problems. If they if they become major problems, then I'll just have to recut it, which is a pain because I don't like wasting material. Although, none of the material I use is going to waste, hopefully. All the stuff I don't use, hopefully, will not be going to waste. I've got a plan. So... Oh, that's tight. I'm quite lucky that's a, it's a little bit tighter than I would have liked it, to be honest. But let's not complain. And then obviously this bit can be screwed into the bed wherever. That means I've got my buttons. This one hopefully has less problems because this was on the same print, well the same cut as this one, but it seemed to be only one side of the bed that was getting affected. But this does have a couple of bits that got cut wrong, so like just here. So it may it may be wrong as well. I'm not 100% sure to be honest. But let's put this one together. Right, something I've noticed that I've done wrong, which is absolutely fine, is this piece here. The power and the buttons are around the wrong way. So it should have been the other way around, but I'm not bothered. I will just laser cut that back out, or I might just turn it around and um, just not have the text on it. It doesn't majorly bother me. It's, me. it's for me, isn't it? It's not for anyone else. So there's the output for the speakers. This is going to be a switch, which was supposed to be on the other side as well. Yeah, I've got, I've got a few things around the wrong way. This is supposed to be down here, but if I move it around now, it'll be the wrong way around. Oh, let's move it around. One second. So, we've got the speakers out there. Uh, no, sorry, the buttons. So, they we can poke them through, hopefully. Yep. So, I can poke both sets through and then plug them in. Now let me show you. And then plug them in, and then it's, so it's the smallest gap possible without having to desolder anything. Um, now let's have fun trying to get it out. Oh, don't break yet. Come on. Then we got our power cable through this one. This is going to be the switch for the speaker, so I can turn the speaker on and off, like we discussed. 
And then that's where the speakers go out. And look, we've got one solitary label. But it doesn't matter, I'm not bothered. Um, right, so then these bits go like this. So now that holds it all in place. So now the board doesn't fall out. And then that is how the other one's supposed to be with the button. So it sits flush. And that's that done. That's the first bit I'm going to do. Solder the buttons and get them all up and running and working. And we'll do a little quick test. Test one, go. But as I say, I looked for about a year and um, I just couldn't find any. And then I found this one that I started to fix up. So it's full and volume. Then this happened. That's the one I've been fixing. And that is turning the volume down. And then these two arrived. They are I in better bad, put them bad state. The batteries are knackered. They've been left out of the rain for God knows how long. Oh, play again. So I'm going to strip them of what I can use, unfortunately. I wonder what next does with this. Yep. The buttons work. Woohoo! Now I'm going to heat shrink everything and get it all prepared and ready. Right, so that's the buttons all wired in now. And I've drilled a hole in the bottom because I'm just going to drill a hole straight through the headboard um, uh, for the wiring. Now. I wasn't sure how far away I needed and how big the wire needed to be so like I always do I just made it way too long and um, I can deal with the consequences later probably by just gaffer taping it to something I don't know. The only change I've made to the box is I've put the on off switch for the speaker here the secondary speaker that goes in this box um, it just means that I've got a bit of control and I can turn that off if it's too loud or whatever and I've, you know, I've only got one speaker that's then doing the vibrating through the bed post, so theoretically only I can hear it. So that's in there, it's just a really rough one. I've, I got it out of something that I'd used a few years ago. I haven't wired it into anything yet, it's just loose wires. Um, but that will literally just be in between the speaker wire and the actual um, PCB. Okay, next I would like to uh, test the speakers, see if they all fit in the speaker housing that I've made, because up until now I haven't actually done a full test fit, I've just sort of plonked them in and seen what happens, so fingers crossed that fits, otherwise I've got some more designing to do. One thing I haven't decided is where the, the wire for the speakers should come out. Um, I'm considering... Hmm, Imagine this is the one that's connected to the bed post and this is the one that moves freely. I'm not wanting this to be free and dangling down, so I'm wondering whether I have it connected somehow and then down. I'm not sure. I'm going to ponder on that for a minute. I think I'm just going to screw, um, drill a hole here and here. I think it'd be easiest.
Right, so that is them completely connected together. I haven't put all the dowels in because I knew I'd need to actually glue them. But basically this is just to hold the speakers up so they're not solely resting on these, although all of this will be glued in anyway. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Basically I'm winging it again. But yes, it's working, it's getting there. I'm tempted to change that hole to on the side, have it come out the side and then connect, connect up with this one, but I'm not sure. It, it doesn't really make much of a difference as long as I make sure I've got enough slack. Right, I spent a bit of time just super gluing this together. It's super glued-ish together. Um, I've also drilled a hole in the side for the wire. I thought I can't be asked not to have it this side. It would just mean I don't need as much to get them to link up and it was just easier. But I've also decided I am going to paint it. So I'm going to um, tape off the buttons and paint over this whole thing. And then I'm going to probably just paint a little quick plus sign on here. I was thinking about laser cutting a little stencil so I could just spray over it. Still potential, but I'm not sure. If you can see little bits of white in between all this, I spilt all my cocaine. No, it's um, baking put soda to try and make it um, stick quicker. Let's paint all this and get it all looking nice. Oh, one thing I'm going to do to this, this is the hinge that goes in between. I'm actually going to stain that because I think paint would just get ripped off that really, really quick. Right, so this is our little raw accoutrement of rubbish that we're going to hopefully make into a nice array of goodness. Um, I've got to find another switch. I want one for the actual turning on and off of the actual device, and I want one for turning on and off of speaker. Um, I'm not sure where I'll put the plug. I'm, I'm thinking I did two holes in this speaker box. One which was for the wire where I've decided it will go, and then one which was going to be for the speaker. Um, but I'm wondering if I can fit, I don't think I can actually, I was going to say I wonder if I can fit the, the um, switch in there, but it'll have to be much lower than that if I want it to go in. Right, okay. Anyway, not sure, but I want to switch somewhere on the speaker so I can turn the speaker on and off, um, but I have to decide on that. Um, I've also come up with how I'm going to attach this to the bed. Um, I'm going to drill some holes, some of the ones that you can connect to... Um, screws so you put it in and go chunk, and connect it I can't remember what they're called but I'll laser cut some of them on here um, but what I want to do now is I want to set this whole thing up so I want to get the speakers in and nested in and properly and then stick the the, uh, the covers on well the cover of this one on and I'll just place this one on until I've cut the holes I need um, and various other bits and bobs like that right I actually can put the switch in here but it's a little bit lower than I want it so I'm gonna make a hole up here and I'm going to connect the switch and all it's going to do is break the connection to the speaker on one side so there's, not, there's no sound coming out. Super simple. Okay, so there's the switch. Basically all I'm going to do is wire that up to here. So I'm just going to make a cut in it. This is always scary, just grabbing a piece and cutting. Job done. Right. I watched some electronic people and they, they will cut their wires this big and they need it that big and then they put them together and it fits perfectly. And I always think to myself, you got so much confidence, I need to leave like 13 miles of extra wire just so that I don't mess it up. Just so that if, if I do mess it up, I've got more places to go with it.
Okay, so the next thing is this. This goes on like this, but I don't like how you can see right down inside it. So I kept this. It's an old bag that a pillow came in. And I thought if we cut a bit of this black off, we can actually stick it so it just looks a bit more profesh. Come on, Mr. Focus, thank you. So I think that's gonna look much better. Okay. It's like, it, it's like I know what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry, I won't change. I'll still mess something up at some point, I promise. Otherwise, what would be the point in watching? Yeah, I much prefer that. Right, there it is, and I think that looks much better. I've just cut out where the holes are, and then I'm gonna to just get a little something to line up the holes. But I actually quite like that look now. Looks a lot more sleek. It's a shame I can't. I might actually, I'm not sure yet, but I might actually cover this in some sort of heat shrink tubing, just so it doesn't look so out of place. But again, don't know. I'll decide when I get to it. Right, I'm gonna connect this on. I'm not gonna glue it together yet, and then I'll be back. Right, there we go. I haven't actually stuck it, but it's it's quite solid on there. I obviously won't leave it like that, but um, the speaker doesn't flop around in there at all, so I'm not gonna stick anything more for the speaker because that's enough, in my opinion. Um, so now I need to connect the other one and get that, get that all cut out ready, I think. Right, I've soldered up our switch, and I'm gonna do something a little more to it, and I'm gonna put the switch on the negative side. Now, that isn't a problem, it will work, but you don't tend to do that because there might be other things to ground. You might not isolate everything properly, but it doesn't matter that I digress. Um, so I'm gonna put it this side. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna desolder a bit in here and then use the switch as the connection. Okay, there we go, there's our little switch. Now I'm gonna put it in and see if it's all fitting together, etc. cetera. Whee! I'm not sure if that wire going around there is going to affect the Bluetooth signal because that is could be making an electromagnetic ring around it, but who cares, we'll find out when we find out. Nice, okay that fits. And that would be its lid. Right, I've got this old um, adapter, it's 12 volts and it's 4.5 milliamp, um, yeah, milliamps, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. But I'm going to try it. It might not have enough of voltage. Voltage de doos. Right. Okay. So I've made our little doer, and I hope I've got it up the right way. Um, so that have to go around that way, and where are the bottomy bits? Yes, yes I have. Okay, so that's upside down at the moment. It's a little bit sharp in this little corner here, but I just laser cut out the best I could. It's not great, but it'll do. Um, I'm also thinking of not sticking this in. Keeping this loose, but having some little Velcro sticky dots here and on here. So this actually holds it together. It just means if I have to do any fixing inside, it's quite simple for me. I don't have to mess about. So I'm going to put some screws in the bed where this needs to go. So once I stick this together, I know for a fact it's gonna line up and everything. It just makes life easier. And I'm gonna get the Velcro dots on here. Then I'm gonna put it to the bed, but I'll show you the Velcro dots before and this setup before I do any actually putting on the bed. Okay, I've placed this on now. I haven't glued it yet, so I want to make sure it all connects up upstairs before I do that, because I've made so many mistakes in my life that you don't glue something until you've checked it. Um, I've also got this set up now with little bits of Velcro, so it just plonks on the top and it holds the whole thing together. Um, it's just a simple way to keep it closed and keep it all together without you know, I can still get in and out if I need to unplug things. Right, next thing is I want to set this all up upstairs.
Right, so here it is. I've put it on here like this. I actually put the buttons here because it meant that the actual wire could just loop over the headboard rather than plugging anything in. Um, I haven't tested it yet. Well, I've turned it on to make sure it works, but I haven't tested it as in lying down and testing it yet, which I'll do in just a second. But first off, let's have it on full blast and see what it's like. I don't know if you can hear the difference when it's turned on and off. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get into bed with you. I know. Shut up, James. Right, sorry about that. He does my head in. Um, I'm going to do it now where I'm going to try and replicate what it'll sound like when lying in the bed. problem is the uh, microphone on the camera is very different from ears. But I will try and do it so that you're sort of like lying down and we'll see if it works. If, if it doesn't, then I'll explain. Right, so just to give you a little view, this is the, the main bit of the brains. We come up to the speakers with the switch, and then this is our little doohicker. Now, I didn't bother staining this, like I said, I was going to, purely because I put the stain too far out for me to be able to get to while I'm in pain, so tough. But it all works fine, and it is literally on, so I can lift this off and it will come straight off. Um, and there's basically four screws in the whole thing. Right, now I'm going to try and record it with the sound, um, how it would be in the bed. Terms, this I is on full blast at the moment though. Because I like the brand, but um, I paid for it out of my own money. So that's with the main speaker off, the like the one that you can move. You know, my own ideas. And there we go, so that is how it would be lying down. That's the volume I need it on to be able to lie down. And I can't hear, I can hear it, but I can't hear it very well. I'm not sure how it's going to be with the, mic uh, the microphone on this though. The nail stapler 18G, which stands for 18. I'm not sure if that came out, we'll see. Right, back in a minute. Okay, there you go, another end to another quite long uh, project, and it works really well. I don't know how well it came out on the actual um, recording, because I haven't actually started editing it yet. But basically, when you're lying down, it's very, very... It almost sounds like it's surround sound that's coming from behind you as well. Um, it's not as good as the original one I made, to be honest, um, because of the speakers are a different shape and they're not in the same place. But it still works really well. It's still um, a lot louder if you're lying down in the pillow than it is if you're sat up even, even next to me, like if Crystal's next to me. Um, the sounds are a lot stronger if, it's, um, if you're lying down actually on my pillow. Um, so yeah, it works wonderful and I've got a lot more control over the sound as well. My phone goes either super loud or not loud at all and to listen to audio at night is quite a problem because I have to have it at an odd sort of volume. Like the volume in a car sometimes, you, you can't quite get it right. Anyway, it works wonders. If you guys need a help, any help with it or a hand of any kind, just leave me a message, leave me a comment. If you haven't already, I'd love you to subscribe thumbs up that kind of jazz but anyway i will see you again next week thank you so much for watching see you again bye for now